Well, Jim, uh, back in the early 1990s, you're managing the Chicago Cubs. I'm announcing the Chicago Cubs, and now here we are, 30 <laughs> plus years later, sitting in Billings, Montana. That's a that's a long time ago, my friend. That, that means we're old, right? Yeah, that's right. But uh, yeah, you know, those were great days, and these are great days. You know, anytime you get a chance to be in baseball, it, it's a great opportunity, and uh, I'm uh, you know, honored and thrilled to be here. Um, the uh, experience, you know, it's, uh, it's a different experience because of the travel and, uh, you know, the quality of the play that we're fortunate to see at the big league level. But, but uh, you know, once that umpire says play ball, the, the competitive juices are flowing and it's, and it's good old baseball. You were talking about the bus ride. You just got in from a road series at 6 o'clock this morning and you got a game home opener here tonight as we're taking this. You've been flying charter planes for a long, long time. <laughs> What was that bus ride like? Well, there, there was no uh, flight attendants bringing uh, shrimp and steak <laughs> down the aisle. But uh, it, you know what? I, I did a lot of that. You know, I, I, I played seven or eight years of bus rides, and I managed 10 years, 12 years of bus rides. And so it, uh, you know, it's not great, but it's, uh, you know, you know what you're getting into when you take it. And uh, uh, en enjoyed the ride. You know, it's beautiful Montana during the day when you're doing it. Um, but um, it's all uh, it's all good, you know. It's it's uh, you just wish we were coming on that bus ride with a couple of wins instead of three losses. What's the difference managing the kids who are playing in this league, the young men who are who are in this league, as opposed to back when you were managing in the minor leagues? Major leagues, different ball game. But what's the difference? Is there any difference? Well, it's similar. It, it's very similar. Uh, the the thing about the the minor leagues. It, you know, at least when you had to give somebody some bad news, quite often you were saying, we're going to send you down a level. Here, you're pretty much saying, we've got to release you. We don't have a minor league system for you to go to. So, uh, you know, you're breaking some hearts when you when you do it. Um, that's, that's the uncomfortable part. And, you know, you bring in 32, 34 players, you know you're going to break in 25. So there's going to be some uh, some guys who get told, and maybe for the last time, that, you know, the dream is over. So. A lot of uh, concerns for that. And, uh, this this group that we had here, just unbelievably, the class that they displayed as they got that news. I mean, uh, they're sending me texts saying thank you so much for the opportunity. I really enjoyed the days there and, and our quote unquote spring training. And um, so you know, you learn a lot about these guys, and, and just about all of it's been good. I don't know if you think about it this way at all, but, but maybe you do. I don't know. By coming to this level of baseball in an independent league, in a pioneer league, is there a part of you that feels like, you know, you've been given so much in baseball, this is a chance for you to give something back, or not really? You just like the managing part of it, you uh, like the people part of it, yeah. you like the ball part, part of it, all of it. Great question. There, you know, there's a little bit of all of that that you just said. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, when you're out here working with some guys, whether it's base running or defensive positioning, these type of things, and they're just soaking it up like a sponge, you know, the respect they show you, and, and you like giving back that information, because, you know, um, some of what we're doing is some of these guys are going to stay in the game, so we're kind of coaching some of these guys up to be future coaches, so, you know, we're just trying to give them a lot of information, and hopefully some of them sign affiliated baseball, and somebody moves to the major leagues, but... Uh, the reality of it is a lot of these guys are going to end up teaching baseball themselves, and it, it, it can only be good for the game to, for everybody to have as much information as you can. Last thing I want to ask you about, you know, for a long time it seemed like the major league level, they were hiring all these young guys who were a game a year or two maybe out of playing the game, and now all of a sudden they're big league managers and so on and so forth. And now all of a sudden in the last couple of years, you know, whether it's Dusty getting another chance to come back, Buck Showalter now is back in the game, there are other examples of that. I mean, could could this be the kind of thing where, where maybe Jim Riggleman gets another shot at it? Uh, I, I don't think I'll get a shot based on me being here. Um, you know, it's like so many things in the game, it's uh, who you know in, in terms of your relationship. You know, um, Buck and Dusty, the two that you mentioned, their, their resume is, is so complete. You know, they, they've done so many great things. The, the win-loss ledger speaks very favorably for them. So if you want an experienced guy running your club, you go get those guys. Um, those of us who, you know, the, the Riggleman's and Dave Trembley's of the world and 
uh, some of the other guys who your win-loss record isn't uh, what theirs is, it, it's tough to sell that to your to your fan base that hey, we're going to bring in an old timer and by the way he's lost a lot of games, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'd be surprised if that happened. I, I would uh, welcome it uh, if the right guy ended up being a general manager somewhere and said, hey, I got one guy I want. It's Jim Riggleman, you know. So I'm I'm at the mercy of who that general manager would be. Hey, we're rooting for you, buddy. Thank it's great you. to Appreciate see. You. Good luck this season.